This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says Manuela has two boxes. The larger of the two boxes has dimensions of 10 inches by 5 inches by 7 inches. The smaller of the two boxes is a cube with sides that are 5 inches long. If she were to put the smaller box inside the larger box, what would be the remaining volume of the larger box? All right, so the first thing we have to do is calculate the volume of each of these boxes. Uh, the first box is a rectangular prism, uh, so we're going to calculate its volume using the formula length times width times height. Again, on the actual ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator, so you do have to commit some of these formulas to memory at some point. The other box is a cube, so to calculate its volume, we're going to use this formula, A referring to its side length to the third power. All right, so let's calculate these volumes respectively. This one is 10 by 5 by 7. And this volume is going to be, again, the side length of this box is 5. So A is 5. This is 5 to the third power. Uh, this becomes 10 times 7 times 5 is 35. 10 times 35 is going to be 350. What is 5 to the third power? That's the same thing as 5 times 5 times 5. Again, that's 5 times 5, which is 25. 25 times 5 is going to be 125. So clearly, the cube is the smaller box, and we want to know how much volume is left in the larger box when the smaller box is placed inside the larger box. So that's simply going to be 350 minus 125. And I'm going to do this off to the side so as not to make a mistake. 0 minus 5 we can't do. We have to borrow. This becomes 4. This becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 4 minus 2 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. So you can see that after the smaller box is placed inside the larger box, there's still going to be 225 cubic inches of volume still inside the larger box. So this one is D.